A few months ago, I uploaded a video about my friend Simona and some of the illustration advice that she had to give. And during the introduction segment of that video, I had this jittery text. And since then, I've had a quite a few people message me asking, how did you create this effect? And so today, that is what I'm gonna be doing over here in After Effects. The first thing that you're going to want to do is create a new composition and we're going to call this main as this is going to be our main composition. I'm going to have mine be 10 seconds long, yours can be longer or shorter depending on your personal project. After this we're now going to create two more compositions, one called text and one called displacement. When creating the two new compositions ensure that both of the settings remain exactly the same. Right click new and create a new solid. Scroll over to the effects and presets box and type in the word fractal noise. Drag this over onto the white solid and go to your effect controls. Change the fractal type to dynamic. After you have done this you can then change the contrast and brightness settings to whatever you want. I personally have found that the darker the image looks the harsher the flicker type effect actually is on the text. I'm going to leave mine roughly at this, it honestly doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be the same as mine. Head over to evolution options and you're going to want to hold the alt key, I think it's option on a Mac, and click on the stopwatch. Once you've done this a little expression is going to appear down here and you're going to want to type time times and then 12. When we then render a preview you can see that the displacement effect is now flickering all over the place. This is now what we're going to displace this effect onto a piece of text. Head back over to the main composition and drag in both the displacement and text compositions. I'm going to mute the displacement one here and make sure text is selected. Head on over to the effects and presets box and type in displacement map. Drag this back over to the text box and change the displacement map layer to displacement. Change both of these options here for the horizontal and vertical display to luminance and change the max vertical and horizontal display settings to 3. Head on back over to the text composition, click the text tool and type in whatever words that you want to flicker. I personally find that a more thinner font that looks handwritten actually works really nice with this text. So I'm going to use Luna and put this in the middle. I can click the align buttons down here, which are going to center everything, and then head on back over to the main composition. Create a new solid. This is going to be our background. I'm going to go with white, bring this down to the bottom. And as you can see, our text is white, so that's just disappearing. So let's just change this back to black. And we should be able to see it. Yep, there we go. And as you can see, we can now render this and we've got the flicker, which is perfect, which is exactly what we want. Now, if we head back over into the text options, we can change these settings. If I make this to 12, you can see we get this electrifying lightning sort of effect, which is really over the top. But that might be something that you're looking forward to do. I don't know. It all depends on your personal project. Um, but I prefer this having this around two for the slight flicker. You can also adjust the contrast and brightness settings in your fractal noise effect to reduce the amount of flicker in your final text. If you enjoyed this video, please sure to give it a like because it really, really helps me out. And if you enjoyed this video and considering I've already made the graphic, please subscribe. Thank you and I shall see you all in my next video. Goodbye.